Here a case of FACO and massification of dense nuclear cataract with FACO dunuses. You can see the aridodunuses and FACO dunuses through this moderate dilated pupil. You can see the subtle exfoliation at the edge of the pupil border. You can see the pupil about uh, 4 to 4.5 millimeters in diameter. Starting the surgery, 2.2 clear corneal incision, staining the anterior capsule. You can see the weakness of the zone will be for initiating the uh, anterior capsular flap to start the capsular axis. Now using the uh, forceps to complete uh, about 5 millimeters. Uh, very nice capsular axis is slightly behind the edge of the pupil borders. Now doing the hydrodissection, you can see the wave and uh, after that you can see the pupil start to constrict now about 2.5 to 3 millimeters you can see the nucleus is rotated and that's mean that uh, how the dissection is nice you can see now the rotation of the nucleus you can see this cataract is dense now i will use vertical chop technique to emulsify this dense cataract here a sharp pointed chopper for a vertical chop uh, of this dense cataract shaving the cortex and the epinucleus first impale your phaco tip then your uh, chopper is vertical and you can bisect the nucleus in two halves you can see that the chopping is not complete in this uh, dense cataract repeat that again and again and rotate the nucleus Again, impale the phaco tip in this dense and try to chop it. You can see now it's good, and uh, you can see the chopping uh, at the center of the uh, pupil. You can see all chopping is not complete. You can still see the uh, dense nuclear part. Now I chopping this dense nuclear part. Now just emas uh, convert into torsional and emulsifying this dense pieces. You can see the pupil about uh, 2.5 to 3 millimeters in diameter. In this dense cataract, it is crucial to inject dispersive OVD all the time of emulsifying this dense cataract to protect the endothelium of the cornea. You can see after I doing vertical chop for this cataract I changed the sharp pointed chopper to another chopper with blunt tip which is more safe for the posterior capsule then you can uh, hold each small piece and emulsify it just sobra nuclear at the level of the pupil with multiple injection of dispersive OVD to protect the endothelium of the cornea. Now you can see the emulsifying of the last pieces. You can see the posterior plate of this dense cataract wasn't chopped uh, very well. Now I emulsify all the cataract, all the nucleus can still see very fine cortex but the pupil is small I can use by manual irrigation aspiration using the irrigation probe to push the iris away to see where is the cortex and hold the cortex feel it then aspirate at the center as you can see also pushing the iris with the irrigation probe to see the cortex here again, using the irrigation probe to push the iris to see the cortex and removing the cortex through this small pupil. You can see the small pupil is still a challenge factor for emulsifying dense cataract. And in case we have small pupil, we can use any pupil expander devices like measuring rings or other uh, devices like uh, iris hooks to help us in emulsifying the dense cataract now uh, as there is a weak zonule so i uh, prefer to implant a capsular tissue ring and this is friendly uh, zonular 
uh, implantation technique you can hold the eyelid of the CTR with a Senski then you can implant it gently now implanting a three pieces uh, hydrophobic IOL in the capsular bag then removing the OVD you can see the pupil by the end of the surgery is about two millimeters in diameter just go slightly behind the IOL and removing the cortex clean all cortex and be sure that your IOL inside the capsular bag now uh, removing the cortex behind the IOL and it's the time for a stromal hydration of the incision now you can see one day after the surgery how the cornea is clear and the IOL is stable and thank you for watching